Hi guys, my name is Morgan. I'm going to be reading out of my Bible storybook that I've had since I was a little kid. See, look, it's got my name in it. <laughs> um, I'm going to be reading to you guys the story of Daniel in the lion's den. So uh, it says, a few years after the three men survived the fiery furnace, you guys remember that story? It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If not, we'll read it later. <laughs> King Darius chose 120 governors for the land. He put three men as supervisors over the governors. One of them, one of those men was Daniel. You guys, um, Daniel is the main guy in this story, okay? So pay attention to him. It says, the other supervisors and the governors were jealous of Daniel because the king was planning to put him in charge of the whole kingdom. They looked for ways to get Daniel in trouble with the king. The plan they came up with was to use Daniel's faith in God and to get him in trouble. Everyone knew that Daniel prayed to God three times a day. Do you guys pray to God three times a day? I think that's pretty crazy. Daniel made sure that he was praying to God. That's so awesome. But these guys didn't think it was. It says, um, his enemies talked to the king and um, told him to make a law that people could pray only to him. Punishment for breaking the law was to be thrown into a den of hungry lions. Look, here you can see that these are the two bad guys and they're talking the king into writing this new law. says, Daniel heard about the law. It was announced throughout the kingdom, but he didn't pay any attention to it. He kneeled beside his window and prayed, just as he did every day. That's exactly what his enemies were waiting to see. They ran to the king and insisted that Daniel be arrested. King Darius knew he had been tricked, but he couldn't do anything about it. He tried to find some way around the law, but it couldn't be changed. So he had to let Daniel be put into a pit full of hungry lions. But he told him, May your God save you. And look, here you can see there's Daniel in the den with all the lions. And then here's King Darius. And he's like, ah, hopefully you don't get hurt. Because <laughs> King Darius liked Daniel. Says, the king was so worried about Daniel that he didn't sleep all night. Early the next morning, he hurried to the lion's den. And Daniel said to him, my God protected me. He kept the lion's mouths closed so they couldn't hurt me. The king was so happy that he issued a new law ordering everyone in the kingdom to respect and fear Daniel's God. So this is the next picture. It's Daniel in the lion's den and the lions are sleeping and their mouths are sealed shut. They didn't open the whole night. So um, pretty much what we can learn from this story is that um, even though people are um, sometimes just people come at us. And um, if we have Jesus in our heart, we have to continue to have that faith in him. Even whenever people are being mean to us or they're purposefully coming out to try and hurt us, we have to continue to be faithful with um, God and just um, continue to pray without ceasing. It doesn't have to be three times a day. Um, if you guys are just like really happy about something, pray to God and tell him about it. That's what he wants to hear from you guys. So I hope that um, throughout this, even though you guys are having to stay home, that um, you guys can continue to have faith in God.